haven't seen you in a bit. What's going on with you, man? Been busy? Been busy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Can't complain. So what are some of the new projects you're working on? Oh, right now, we're looking at more Envy 2. We're trying to push that out. We're looking at bringing out Mortal, which is a, a very highly anticipated... That's, high I'm, I'm very interested about that one, because then, based on what you were telling me last time on the phone... Yeah, we I'm, actually had a lot of people here. Uh, they were coming by. Just looking at the poster alone, uh, we, had, we sold, uh, almost sold out all of our posters. And um, a lot of people were very interested in it, so hopefully we're going to bring that out soon for the, for the readers and, you know, put, put this homecoming on the map. It's, I look, hey, I'm here to support that. And now next to the hardest working man in the industry, because you're you're up and down all over the place. All over, yep. Tell me a little bit about it, man, because, you know, I've been getting your emails, I've been getting the text, the videos. Well, what I've been doing recently is uh, traveling across the United States, and sharing the love of big time comics to all the readers out there, all the fans. Um, recently, we put out our new issue, uh, from Trey, which is uh, more of a sci-fi action adventure story. Uh, one man who is a uh, missionary type of setting, and he's actually going to be fighting against a secret group which is within the military. that's fighting to actually take over the world by uh, creating uh, super soldiers and they uh, are obtaining this one person called the Man of Mass Destruction. The Man of Mass Destruction. The man of Mass Destruction. <laughs> yes. I, I think I saw like a few pages of it. So I definitely want to get my issues signed. You know, that's one of the reasons why I was waiting. You guys, you got some issues here? We have issues here. Yeah, they came in uh, yesterday, and we're promoting them today. Okay. And um, after today, there's going to be a couple of local stores in South, uh, South Florida. Uh, I believe Tate's will be one of them. I've seen them at um, the Docking Bay. The Docking Bay is another one's going to have them. Uh, we're actually having another event at Docking Bay in October, I believe. Are you at Supercon as well? Say again? Are you at Supercon Comics? Um, we're not at Supercon uh, Comics right now, but um, I believe in the next week or two we'll be there as well. Um, Jim Haley in New York, we're, we're all over Jersey, New York, Boston, California, uh, Chicago, Detroit, Georgia, North Carolina. We're moving all over, and now we actually have some books like in, um, in uh, San Juan. San Juan, we're okay. We're excited to actually have all these stories that be uh, fond of us and actually to collaborate with us and just love the comics that we have. It's a fun book, it's a fun read, and uh, we just want to make this a fun story for people to love, all different group size ages. Uh, we have dark stories, we have light stories, we have happy, happy ending, with good, all of our superheroes, everything. Now tell me, tell me a little bit about Entity, because I know you had Entity 1 and 2. Yes. Or was it 0 and 1? 0 and 1. And actually, we're working on number 2 actually, as we speak. Okay. Um, the Entity 2 is going to be coming out hopefully like by next year or the ending of this year. Okay. Um, Entity is going to actually continue on with issue 1. We're actually going to have a more of a, um, how can I put it, more investigation look on uh, investigation scene on this one, where they talk about like, what happened to Max, which is Ali, Ali Grove, our uh, actress, and uh, how that's going from there. Um, and like I said, um, Trey is going to be another one we have to work on as well, and we both at the same time as Kennedy, uh, and that's going to just be more of a... Uh, Trey turns a little bit more darker, as Kennedy is going to be more of a uh, um, broader light to see what's happening behind the scenes of the, the work, the elements, of what's going on, and uh, a little bit about the conspiracy that's about her father that he possibly knows some things that's happening to the planet that he maybe has nothing to do with it. So a lot of un unraveling and un 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 keys and uh, mix that a little bit. I'm, I'm looking forward to that because I, I enjoyed number um, zero and two. And especially since what you're doing with the book as far as with the kids. You know, you're going to like um, schools and so forth like that, so that's... Starting from there young, I like that. Oh, perfect. Now, for the artist on Trey, uh, yes. you know, I would definitely love to we, go we ahead. Down today, this morning. We got, oh! We, we, we got his ticket and we took him down uh, this morning uh, from New York. And uh, like, we're flying up back today also. He's been heading out for a one-day event. And he seems busy. He seems to be quite oh, popular yes. here, too. He's busy doing commission work, signing uh, 
books and uh, we've been putting out some more, uh, putting out some more books from uh, the Skin Up book. We've been putting out some more character designs and we're sitting here at the table collaborating some more. And we have a lot of other characters coming out on the train and we just want to make sure we're speaking at the same time so we, don't, we were thinking like we can do this right at the table so the fans can see as we're doing the whole process together. So it's kind of like a more like a kind of behind the scenes but you're right here. Right. So in front of the scenes but behind the scenes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, face so you're one of the characters actually in the book, right? How did this come about? How did you get? How did this come about? You being a character in the book. She got. Yeah, she's toned up. Yeah, you're feminine enough, but you look like you kick somebody's butt too. Exactly. See our guns? <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. So here we have the artist for trade. Sorry? How, how did this come about as far as you actually working on this book? Um, I actually met LeVar in Megacom in March. Oh, okay. I was there. I guess I... Yeah, I think I saw you. Uh, we, we actually had a table right next to you, right next to LeVar. Oh. I think I saw you a couple of times. Okay. Um, and then we talked about it, you know. And, uh, I, it, it really attracted me. Like at first, it was uh, I was thinking he wanted an anime style, but I kind of tried the anime style. I can't do anime very well, so I turned it more into like this European, <laughs> like uh, anime mix. And uh, Elbar, like said, you know, he liked that. He liked how it came out. Oh, you got the four dollars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, somebody else? Ozzy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we start playing around with the characters, and you know, it, it came out pretty good. And it's a, it's a really good, really good book, actually. It came out, it came out really good. Yeah, I'm surprised because you're all the way in New York, and yet, you know, how how does that work as far as the artist creator relationship? Um, well, it's good because he doesn't get me, he doesn't get to hear me cursing him out all the time. <laughs> um, you know, I can edit emails better than phone calls, so that's really good. Um, no, it's 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 it's. Cool. It's like um, technology made it so that you know this whole telecommunicating thing works like that as well. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's, I think it worked out very, like, yeah. very, very well. Yeah. And then I had to go and visit him, make sure he's doing his job. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. He's like, get to work, young man. <laughs> Because then you, yeah, so this is the first thing you've written, right? Right, this is the first thing I've actually really written. And I don't have, I've never really had comic books and kid or anything like that. So it's like, we growing up, I didn't have comic books, I watched a lot of cartoons. So like, those were my things. I watched Spider Man, all of those things. I had a farm, but I had a love for it. But I didn't have that uh, funds or anything at that age to like, buy my own comic books. So at the age I am now today, in this, this, this day and age, I started getting more involved in comic books, more into conventions, and I just said, you know what, I'm make something into this. I don't, I don't think he remembers. 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 I don't think he rem